When I was just four years old, before I'd ever seen a turntable or touched a piece of vinyl, I told my mother that I was going to travel the world and make people happy with my music. I made that declaration knowing deep down inside that music was in my veins. I knew this because I listened to James Brown, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin, Bach, Beethoven, Michael Jackson, Mozart, Janet Jackson, and other brilliant names in music. I also knew this because my mom would tell me, when I was pregnant with you and we played music for you, you kicked to the beat. And, <laughs> and um, when you were first born and you started crying for your first time, your dad put on Bach and you stopped crying and you turned your head to music. Um, I started DJing at five years old and I, uh, my mom's friend opened a DJ school and that's where I got my start, at Dubspot. Why do I like music? That's a complicated feeling. I love that there's a groove. Music brings us together. Music makes the world go round. Music gives you energy and lifts you up. People can put on a playlist, but a DJ is more than just a person playing songs. A DJ reads the crowd. A DJ is sensitive to the mood of a group of people. A DJ dictates that mood and affects the people with joy. When I DJ, I try to inspire people and have people happy for when they hear me. And for adults to say, honey, that brings me back to 1988. <laughs> And, um, you know, for everybody to enjoy when they hear me, I DJ for cancer foundations, I DJ for charities, I love giving to the world my music. All right, before I go further into my conversation, I want to do an activity for a crowd. I see my front row up here. How about we get some snapping? Come on. All right, I see my middle. You see everybody? All right. Now clap. All right, I see my back. Say, oh, yeah. Say, oh, yeah. All right. Cool, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, um, what do I think when I'm remixing songs or layering music, making beats? I wonder if it's going to affect people. Will people listen to this when they're on the train? when they're going to work, when they're going to school, when they're doing chores. I like it when I do something that makes people happy. And that's what makes me happy. That's what my world imagined sounds like. My world imagined would be a world full of melodic sounds and fun. There'd be a soundtrack for your life. Kind of like a score for your own film that's your very own life. There'd be DJs and singers on street corners and people beatboxing. Does anybody here know how to beatbox? Nobody? You never heard of Dougie Fresh, one of the best, you know, artists that made the sound of beatboxing. That's one of the best things of music, a way that people, ourselves, can make, the, make music by just using our mouths, like I want my audience to try that. Come on. Let's see if you can do it. Come on, say boot and cut, take away the O-O from boot and you from cut, and it should end up All right, let's hear you do it. That's good, that's good. Let's give him a hand, come on. Um, who here in the audience likes James Brown? Aretha Franklin, Hey, Whitney Houston here? Stevie Wonder? Um, those were my favorite artists, and that's where I got my love of music and where I got my genres that I play from. I still, if I'm playing for children, I still will play Drake and, you know, some pop music. Anybody here like uh, the new female rapper, Iggy Azalea? Yeah. Yep, all right. Um, but I still connect to what I used to listen to as a little kid. I, as some of my first mixes when I was at my DJ school, I put in Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder, and all the teachers were impressed, and they gave me a scholarship, being the youngest person in their class, because I knew so much music, and I'd take private lessons, and I'd be one of the best kids at the class at, like, six years old. Um, yeah. Part of my... <laughs> uh. Part of my dream has been about having big goals and aspirations. And on January 1st, 2012, I made a vision board, 
a board that contains your wildest dreams in the form of images. And on it, I put, I want a DJ for Madison Square Garden. I want to DJ for a president of the United States. And in March 3rd and March 4th for that same year, I was DJing for Madison Square Garden and Bill Clinton. And he named me the nine-year-old wonder. <laughs> um, when you imagine something so clearly, it becomes a vision. And your vision becomes your hope, your belief, your self-encouragement, and ultimately your reality. Also having just the support of a mentor really helps. And a person that can help you get, do better at your skills and exceed the expectations of what they, people expect you to be. And a person that you can look up to, a role model, and that person for me is DJ Cassidy. Um, music was there for me. I was always drawn to it. And that's why I got that scholarship, because I always knew different genres of music that kids and adults could both listen to. If I DJ right now, I could play a music of a, a mix of soul, funk, hip hop. Um, you know, I could even play Drake and James Brown. It doesn't matter, because I love mixing in all the new things with the old things, and the old things with the new things. Um, and that's, that's what really matters to me, what people know of and what, what makes them happy that I'm doing. That's my world imagined. My world imagined is a world of peace and music as a uh, pathway to peace. That's my world imagined. And I believe that music is something that can inspire anyone. D music can make people more compassionate and more confident because of the way it makes you feel. Who here enjoys music? Raise your hands if you enjoy music, yeah. Who, who, okay. Let's hear you, who's your favorite artist? You, come on. You, er. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Beatles, you see? One of the best rock bands ever, probably. And the Beatles were an inspiring band that everyone will listen to. The, everybody in the crowd here like the Beatles? Yeah. yeah. A and for me, I wanted, to like, I wanted to be like the DJ version of the Beatles. I wanted, to be <laughs> I wanted to be a person that people were inspired by. I don't want to be looking at somebody on TV and say, oh, crap, I wish I was in their position. But I want to I say one day, you know, you see that TV clip? That was me at 10 years old, or that was me when I DJed for Madison Square Garden. And, you know, I really always wanted to be an inspiration and not to be looking to other people, but for me to be that person. And I, I've always really loved music. And it's always... <laughs> It's always really helped me through my life as a period of going from four to 11 years old as I am right now. I've always listened to it. I grow through new genres. Like, while I was nine years old, I'd always listen to uh, Funk and Soul, and on the train going to school, I'd be memorizing the lyrics to James Brown, like, get on up, get up. And, um, I always listened to different things. I'd always try something new every day. And I, I want you guys to do that. Try new music today, try new music tomorrow. I inspire you guys to be inspired and for you to inspire other people and to listen to new things, to be inspired by new things and to love them. I'm DJ Falao, thank you for listening.